The Lisbon air hung heavy with the scent of salt and secrets. I stood on the balcony the city lights a shimmering tapestry below. A strange sensation washed over me, a tingling anticipation. It started subtly, a blurring at the edges of my vision. Then my reflection in the window rippled, my features dissolving like watercolors. I watched, mesmerized, as my face, my body morphed into someone else entirely. A thrill shot through me, a mixture of fear and exhilaration. This newfound ability to shapeshift at will felt both alien and exhilarating. Gone was the familiar weight of my past, the insecurities etched on my face. In their place, a blank canvas, a chance to rewrite my story. The world stretched before me, full of possibilities. I was no longer bound by the limitations of my former self. The world was my oyster and I, the pearl within. The city lights twinkled below, each one a beacon of potential. I could be anyone, anything I desired. A wave of liberation washed over me, erasing years of self-doubt. For the first time, I felt truly free. This balcony, this moment, marked the beginning of my transformation. The old me was gone, replaced by something far more fluid, far more powerful. The streets of Lisbon called to me, a labyrinthine invitation to explore this newfound freedom. Each cobblestone street, each sun-drenched plaza, whispered promises of adventure. I walked with a newfound confidence, my steps lighter, my heart brimming with anticipation. Gone was the hesitant shuffle of insecurity, replaced by a purposeful stride. I moved through the crowds, a phantom observer. Faces blurred, their features shifting in my perception like sand dunes in the wind. With a thought, I could blend in, become invisible, or transform into someone entirely new. The power was intoxicating, a heady elixir that erased years of self-consciousness. Each transformation brought a fresh perspective, a new lens through which to view the world. I could slip into different personas, experience life from countless angles. The shy girl I once was felt like a distant memory, a chrysalis left behind. I was a chameleon, adapting to my surroundings, embracing the fluidity of my being. Lisbon embraced me, her ancient streets humming with a vibrant energy. The scent of roasted chestnuts mingled with the salty tang of the Tagus River. Funiculars climbed the steep hills, their bells clanging like laughter in the afternoon sun. I wandered through the Alfama district, its narrow alleyways a maze of colorful houses and hidden courtyards. The city was a sensory feast, a kaleidoscope of sights, sounds, and smells. I rode the iconic yellow trams, their rhythmic rumble a soothing soundtrack to my journey. I watched fishermen mend their nets by the river, their weathered faces etched with the stories of the sea. Lisbon was a city of contrasts, a place where ancient history met modern vibrancy. As the sun began its descent, casting long shadows across the city, I felt a pull towards the west. My intuition, now heightened, guided me towards the waterfront. The air grew cooler, carrying the scent of brine and distant voyages. I knew with a certainty that defied logic that my destination lay somewhere beyond the bustling harbor. The waterfront bustled with activity. Fishermen unloaded their catch, their voices a chorus of guttural Portuguese. Tourists strolled along the docks, snapping photos of the sailboats bobbing in the harbor. I paused, taking it all in, the salty air stinging my nostrils, but my gaze was drawn beyond the harbor towards the open sea. A strange sensation washed over me, a lightness in my chest, a tingling in my limbs. It was the familiar feeling of transformation, but this time, it was different. My feet left the ground, not in a graceful leap, but in a slow, steady ascent. I was rising, hovering above the cobblestones, my heart pounding in my ears. Below me, the city sprawled like a colorful map. I soared above the rooftops, the wind whipping through my hair, the world tilted beneath me, the familiar streets now a miniature landscape. Fear had vanished, replaced by an exhilarating sense of freedom. I was no longer bound by the constraints of gravity, of physical limitations. I was free. The industrial port sprawled before me, a labyrinth of cranes, warehouses, and ships. The air thrummed with the clang of machinery, the shouts of workers, the low rumble of engines. I descended slowly, my feet touching down on the rough concrete of the pier. The smell of salt and diesel hung heavy in the air. This gritty industrial landscape felt strangely familiar, like a forgotten memory resurfacing. I walked deeper into the port, drawn by an invisible thread of destiny. The sounds of the city faded behind me replaced by the relentless rhythm of industry. Each step forward felt like a step closer to my true self. 
The setting sun cast long shadows across the cranes and cargo ships. I reached the edge of the pier, gazing out at the vast expanse of the Atlantic. The water shimmered like molten gold, reflecting the fiery hues of the sky. A sense of peace settled over me, a feeling of coming home after a long journey. The industrial building loomed before me, a hulking structure of steel and concrete. Its windows were dark, like vacant eyes staring out at the harbor. I approached cautiously, drawn by an unseen force. The air crackled with an unseen energy, a palpable hum that vibrated through my very being. As I stepped inside, the door clanging shut behind me, the air grew heavy with the scent of ozone and metal. Dust motes danced in the faint light filtering through grimy windows. The building was a cathedral of industry, its vast interior filled with silent machinery and forgotten tools. I moved through the cavernous space, my footsteps echoing in the stillness. The air thrummed with a low hum, a symphony of forgotten industry, and then I saw it. A single light shining brightly in the darkness at the far end of the building. It pulsed with an otherworldly energy beckoning me closer. The light enveloped me, warm and welcoming. I closed my eyes, surrendering to its embrace. And then, it hit me. A wave of understanding so profound, so overwhelming that it brought me to my knees. The shape-shifting, the flight, it wasn't just some random ability, it was a reflection of my own limitless potential. I was capable of anything, of being anyone. But more importantly, I realized that I didn't need to be anyone but myself. The old desires, the need for validation, it all seemed so trivial now. I had found something far greater, far more fulfilling, I had found myself. When I finally opened my eyes, the world shimmered with a newfound clarity. The industrial building had vanished, replaced by a breathtaking vista of the Atlantic Ocean. The sun was rising, painting the sky in hues of pink and orange, and I stood on the other side of Lisbon, both literally and metaphorically. I was no longer the person I once was. I had crossed over to a new realm of understanding, a place of self-acceptance and boundless potential. This was my rebirth, my awakening. And as the sun climbed higher in the sky, I knew that the journey had just begun.